We just picked up this new old house, and with a new old house, there comes a lot of challenges and surprises, including, but not limited to, a barking dog next door and breaking dishwashers. So when my wife sent me this picture of this dishwasher, my first thought was, <coughs> me. My first thought was, maybe the drain's disconnected. My second thought was, maybe the drain's plugged. So let's open this thing up. I haven't even looked at it yet. Let's find out what it is. There's definitely some stuff in the way of the water draining, but I would say not actually enough to stop it from draining. Under the kitchen sink connected to the garbage disposal is this line, which is the drain line from the dishwasher. It looks fine. I don't think it's plugged up or anything. Obviously it's draining. You can see between this hard water build up here and then this hard water build up here, there's quite a lot. There's definitely been water leaking through here. Hopefully that's kind of the main source of it. But we'll check everything. In this model, this is the filter, this big round part. So that's all you need to clean. And it's not super accessible, but you can see through this, it's semi-transparent. And if there's nothing you can see in there, then it's, then it's clean. There's no need to actually clean it like I am. You wanna pull off this tube to get behind it. The whole thing goes down because it's kind of clipped in there. And then you can move it to one of the sides and it sort of really sets still. Then you can get that off. When you open the dishwasher, you can look up under here and there's usually a couple of screws and that's how it bolts into the cabinets to keep it from sliding out. Sometimes there's a screw in the side, but most of the time it's just these two up top. With the dishwasher out, you can see a hot water line and then the drain. In this case, it's on this other side. So here's the connection. None of this looks like it's leaked at all, which is a good thing. On the back, you'll see that there's several holes for where this wheel bolts in. That's to adjust the height. And in my case, what I found out my problem is that the whole thing is leaning too far forward. On the front there's these little adjustable legs that just screw in up and down on both sides. So that's how you can get the adjustment on the whole dishwasher. I gotta say that even though my dishwasher happened to be way out of level and that's why it was leaning forward and leaking water out the front, it's probably not gonna be the issue with yours. Most of the time it's the filters clogged and so it's allowing the water to get up too high and it, it can't hold it all. If that's not the case, you might have a leaky line going in, either the hot water line going in or the drain lines leaking, probably on the dishwasher side. If not, check it where it goes to the garbage disposal. Check that first. If that's not the case, maybe it is leaning too far forward like mine is. I hope this video made some sense. I hope to help you out. Hopefully it answered any questions you might have. Hopefully I covered all the bases. I covered everything I could think of that would make a dishwasher leak. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs up. Like it, subscribe, all that stuff. Comment, unless you're a troll. Keep your crap comments off my channel. Thanks. Bye. Yeah.